So one of the most hotly anticipated features uh, for Forever Communities is legacy recruits. This is something that we have been talking about doing since before the Juggernaut edition. I mean, Joe and I have been talking about this since 2000, what, 19, I think? Uh, it's been ages. And finally, well, uh, we, yeah. We stuck in the VO for this um, during the Heartland recording session. That's right. That's right. We were anticipating doing this. And so we recorded the VO back then. So we didn't actually have to record new VO for this because we had already done it because we've been anticipating this feature for so long. Uh, hopefully you can hear me over all of the crazy gunshots that are going on in my base right now. But basically the idea is, you know, you've got this full legacy pool full of characters uh, that you've been collecting over time. But the problem is you could put them in there 11 or 12 at a time but you could only pull them out three at a time, starting a brand new community. And so things that you couldn't do included, you know, building a dream team of all of your favorite past characters, not a thing you could do with the legacy pool. Uh, you know, moving something from one community to another, not a something you could do with the legacy pool. Until now. So we have got legacy, the ability to not only, and this is, so we've always wanted the ability to pull characters out of the legacy pool, but Chris, your team did something that actually I was not anticipating, which is letting you put characters into the legacy pool. And that's where we're going to start right now. So, so where is this done? This is on the community screen. Yep. Same method as exiling, uh, right. but slightly, it's our way of uh, unfriendly exile. Like you're saying, <laughs> I enjoy you. I just don't want you in my community right now. So we've got we got other friends you can go hang out with. Yeah. Uh, so you can see over there on the utility bar, we've got Exile Survivor on X. So if I wanted to exile Nando, I could. But mm -hmm. if I want to send him to the legacy pool, that is on Y. So let's give that a try. Let's hold the Y button. And yes, I do want to send him to my legacy pool. Let's confirm that. And now I need to go talk to him just as though I had exiled him. So he is downstairs. Okay. So we're, we're, we're making this a little bit of a process because I think we don't want to ever do this by accident because it is, it is you know, a pretty pretty hefty uh, decision and it costs it costs some influence to get these characters back. But yeah, yeah and up until this point, you can still decide to never mind and not send them too. So it's very similar to Exile. You can choose not to or go ahead. So yeah, so I basically, I've already loaded Nando up with a bunch of gear that I wanted to send to my other Nightmare community because this Nightmare community, we were ready to win the Warlord uh, uh, Legacy mission, but I've got another one that's kind of struggling. So I loaded him up with some gear that I thought they would need. And now I'm going to send him to the Legacy pool. And there he goes, he takes off. So now, if he runs into a pack of zombies right now, am I screwed? No. No. At one point you were, but we resolved that. Okay. <laughs> so he helped us with that one. So he just went into the legacy pool now. Like my ex my my Xbox could explode right now, but that character mm -hmm. is in the legacy pool and we're okay. Yeah. Yeah. So if you see a juggernaut rip him in half on his way to the legacy pool, no, he is safe and safe there. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go and find him in my other community. Okay, here we are with the commune, and we want to recruit somebody from the Legacy Pool. Specifically, Nando, the guy that we loaded up with shotguns and other gear and sent over to this community. Or we sent him out into the world. We haven't sent him to this community yet because we haven't recruited him yet. So over here on your radio menu where there's all kinds of lovely options that I think it's really easy to forget about, we've got a new one near the top. Recruit Legacy Survivor for 12 hundred influence so this is not free so so like I, i'm curious like like what 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 uh sort of led to the decision to have it cost 1200 influence yeah so we wanted to cost some amount of influence and have some kind of cool downtime around there too uh one thing that we wanted to avoid was once you have a healthy legacy pool just being able to start new communities and then instantly have maxed out amount of community members with tons of really good equipment and all their skills maxed out and whatnot. So we built in this way to kind of at least slow you down <laughs> in being able to do that. <laughs> it's, you gotta, you'd still have to put some effort in. This is not suddenly a push button to win game uh, yeah. option. This is something that you still have to earn up towards. So I'm going to hit that option. If anyone out there can hear this, go ahead and say something, please. Okay, so this pops open the Legacy Survivor Pool. Is the game paused in the background? No. Uh, <laughs> so let's if, be quick. If you have multiplayer, if you have multiplayer on, it's not paused in the background. Zoe, can you remember if you don't have multiplayer on? Does it pause? I don't recall. Yeah, I'm blanking on that one. 
Okay, cool. Well, so yes. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, go find um, um, yeah. Juggernaut and pull this up and see if he dies. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds amazing. Uh, maybe, maybe we. I don't think we have time uh, this particular. Time. So we've got. Uh, so Nando, here's Nando. These guys are in alphabetical order. He was pretty easy to find. I knew that I'd sent this guy, but even if I, uh, I had trouble, you know, remembering what his name was, if I had remembered that he was an auto mechanic, whatever, I could have found him using any of the sorting options. But yeah, so Nando's the guy I want. Let's recruit him, and confirm. Matea Pipe did say that it is not caused and has panic dismissed your attack. Okay, that sounds cool. right. Yeah. So, so you'll pop right out of it if some if something attacks you and starts eating your face. And you will get a refund. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good. That's that. That's really really important. Okay. So now we have got him. I didn't have to go out and find. He's not like a red talon recruit. We have to go out and do a mission to pick him up. He's just here in my community. In fact, I can take control of him right now. And so, yeah, so you're now seeing something that you've never seen in the retail game before, which is Nando here was in... When we started this stream, Nando was it was in the lion's share. We loaded him up with stuff, some of which I'm going to now drop in the, uh, in the supply locker. We loaded him up with stuff, we brought him in here, and now he's a part of the commune. And so he can continue his adventure uh, with uh, this completely different community, which is an amazing thing. And you can just imagine, you know, uh, players out there are already imagining all the other things that they can do with this feature. Like I said, building up dream teams, passing things around, trading from one community to another. There's all kinds of options here. And this is just an incredibly powerful tool. And I'm just so thrilled that you all added this to the game. I'm going to be making so much use of this uh, just on my own you know, personal stream and my own, you know, playing on my own time. This is one of my favorite features we've ever done. Yeah, but it should help people be able to make their like true dream team or simply use someone as a mule and carry things back and forth from one community to another. 